Hey, good morning everybody. It's John Phillips with uh, John Phillips Plumbing Service. It's Monday morning. Not sure what the date is, to be honest. Just having my coffee. Getting uh, ready for the day. I think it's about 7.30. Um, yeah, I got this, this new little family member here. Look at him, he just stays at the front door. Everywhere I go, this guy follows me. I go to the bathroom, he comes in there, he lays down. He's gonna watch everything, very smart. And he's a good watchdog, man. He barks when there's some noise outside. And Bella, she's she's loves him now. Only after a couple of days. Yeah, so everything's good on that front. Uh, but I got a call last night from a lady. Um, I, uh, I don't know, maybe six months ago, I did a service call for a guy. He was, he had some water pipes banging. His house had been repiped. And, uh, every time he flushed the toilet, there was banging going on. Uh, so I had gone down there. It was kind of a long drive, longer, you know, with traffic and everything took me a long time to get there so I took care of his issue he was very happy and as I was driving away two houses down from his house a woman uh, came out an older lady and she was her washing machine had been overflowing every time she did a wash so she'd have to stand there and uh, you know turn it on and off to, to do a load of laundry so I said, you know, I can I can take care of that. I didn't have to go up on the roof or anything. It was right in the trap, uh, older house with cast iron uh, under the slab. And uh, so I ran the Super V through there a few times and drained her washing machine a few times and got her going. And uh, when I went to, you know, give her a bill, she said she didn't have any money. And uh, I was like, you know, that I get it. You're on a fixed income. Uh, I said, well, how much can you can you afford? And she gave me 25 bucks. So, uh, anyways, last night, actually, I gave her some crosses. I I have these little wood comfort crosses that I give to people, um, people who are struggling little bit with like cancer or whatever their affliction is I give them these little crosses and I pass them out up at Moffitt Cancer Center but anyways this woman calls me last night on a Sunday night and I usually don't answer the phone um, you know on the weekend just leave a message and I'll get back to you I just but uh, anyways I, I picked the phone up and uh, she's crying and I mean, literally, this phone call took like a half hour, and I was, I didn't want to interrupt her, so I just let her do her boo-hooing, but uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, her son was diagnosed with cancer, and uh, he lives on the other side of the state, and it was really, she said she's been crying for two months, and now her lavatory's in the bathroom. She's got side-by-side uh, -side labs. Probably, there's probably a three-inch vent there with a three-by-inch-and-a-half cross in the wall, in the concrete block, and then the sweep down below uh, is probably blocked up. She said the rest of the bathroom's uh, working fine. So I'm going to go down there, but um, she probably doesn't have any money again, but... Um, we'll see but uh sometimes you got to do that and uh take care of these elderly people and uh it's funny because i i went over you know some of these guys they take advantage of them that water heater i put in last friday uh i went there because i lost a little side door for my gopro 10 and I was looking for it in the grass and the, the president of the association came up and he was talking to me and he said that uh, an, a resident had a bunch of water in their, uh, in their backyard 
and he said they you know there was something running so they turned the water off to the house and then they they called a plumber not me i don't do all their work i do the work for the association and a lot of the homeowners but not everybody there's probably three four you know people can call whoever they want uh but he told me that this guy came out another plumbing company and uh he turned the water back on and uh reached out on the ground and pulled up an irrigation line and said this is your problem turned the water off and gave him a 795 dollar bill uh just for doing that which is um a crime that's that's what gives plumbers a, a bad reputation for overcharging and there's a lot of creeps out there a lot of guys who just take advantage of people uh, they they obviously have no conscience and uh, you know there's enough work out there for me I don't need to be stealing uh, money from old people um, I earn it the old fashioned way you know I dig a fucking ditch for it <laughs> anyways that's my day uh, I'm gonna try to limit I know I talk a lot I'm pretty verbose and uh I'm going to head down here. Hopefully I can get some footage on this and uh, get this lady sink going and eliminate this stress in her life. And uh, maybe I'll get paid. Who knows? Maybe I'll get at least gas money out of it. But I'm happy I can help her. And I'm happy that uh, she felt she could turn to me uh, to give her a hand when she needed it. So that's the plan today. Uh, I will say about my little puppy, this guy, he's funny, he comes running in my room every morning at 4.30 in the morning and uh, starts trying to climb into my bed and he's got claws on him like a goddamn grizzly bear and my arms are all scratched up, my legs, I like have to, uh, you know, wear sweatpants and a sweatshirt to keep this guy from getting to my skin but uh he's just a lovable puppy and um i'm very happy and everything's gonna work out just fine y'all see ya and away goes money down the drain yeah 429 429 a gallon for a regular unleaded not too bad I think diesel's five bucks today uh, when it got real high I was just filling up enough to get me through the day and uh, probably saved myself a lot of money not a lot but you know something and uh, yeah so Fuck them oil company gouging us. That's what they're doing. Stop blaming Joe. Blame the people who are collecting all the money. Eleven gallons. This lady just put in. Forty-eight bucks. It's a gorgeous day today. I've already lost a hundred dollars I must have been pretty I think I've got a 40 gallon tank in this truck Let's see how much we get in there that's it I might as well round it off oh fuck that's all she wrote. $110 in the hole. When gas prices are this high, you better get yourself a locking gas cap, my friends. Fucking scumbags will be stealing your fuel. Anyways. And we're off. Alright. So we made it. Uh, I'm almost asleep. Pretty cool little community. Supposedly this lady inherited this house. She 
her mom gave it to her and she's living here. Uh, I just hope I get paid, to be honest, man. I just drove about a half hour to get here, so that's one way. Ooh, look at this. Pile of shit. We gotta stop and look. Turn left onto Hourglass Drive. I'm a junk picker, man. I can't drive by a pile of shit without stopping and taking a look. Now I gotta try to turn this fucking beast around. It's not a good thing to, to do. It's a real problem. Sands in the hourglass. So are the days of our lives. Remember that when I was a kid, man. Take the next left onto Drifting Sands Drive, then your destination will be on the right. Hey, thank you there, co pilot. My co pilot. I think this lady lives right here. Destination is on the right. Right there, 136. Fucking tile roof. Ugh. Not good, guys. Not good. Look at that vent. Way the fuck up in the middle of that roof. I'm not getting up there. I'm gonna have to do this from the inside. I just can't be liable for cracking a tile roof, you know? I mean, I could tell them I'm not responsible and then go up there, but I just don't like working on them. Let's see. Let's see if this lady's home. Good morning, ma'am. Go on, get up. Look at you all ready to go. Oh. Hi, I've been crying. Oh. So where, what are we? I got a problem. What? More than what I told you on the phone. What I did? forgot. Last week, my shower didn't run a drain, so I plunged it. Yeah. And it went down. Okay. Those wouldn't work. This one I tried this morning. Of course, two weeks ago I put Drano down my sink. Yeah. It's still not running right. In All here. right. So your whole house is probably backed up. Yeah. All right. Let's go look at the lavatories. Yeah. Uh, my son just called me. So I was having coffee. He Come just, on after you. He just got, got the radiation again. Well, hopefully he's going to well, be okay. Going to him, they're going to give him a prescription of some kind of um, mouthwash. So he was going back into the place. So that's stopped up now. Yeah, that runs down fine. And this is fine. And it All right. Come, it doesn't come up in here, but but this one here was backed up. You know, the, when I was taking a shower, the water wasn't going down. Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I pushed the door. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to... Where's the valve? Give it. Let me see if I can. Get this guy backed up and see if something happens here. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's flushing good. Yeah. This is holding water, and that's. And when I plunge, change. This is the saw. one. This is the one that was. This goes over there. But this yeah. is the one that was. I was washing my hands in after mm -hmm. I went to the bathroom. And um, let me go. Can I go out this door? I don't know if I got the dead bolt on or not. You can try. No, I have to look at the key, honey. <laughs> Seems like it's it's okay, man. Is it? Oh. Oh. Okay. So let me see if there's a let's see if there's a bed up there. Mm, okay. Can I go out this gate? Yeah. This stuff hasn't been used in a while, huh? Oh I, oh, I see. There's a little lock on it and yeah. a lock up here. Right, it's like Fort Knox in this place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's the vent. Two inch vent for the for the labs. She's got multiple issues here. I don't. Ma'am, is this going to be an issue paying for this stuff? I'll keep it under a thousand. No, I'm kidding. But yeah. All right. So show me the other problem in the other bathroom. Okay. I'm gonna run a. You, that shower was slow, so I'll run a Super V through that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to go up on the roof to get that stoppage. Uh, in that in those labs yeah i believe yeah i'll have to look and see if the this is the one that i put drano down i'm not drano um liquid former and did it come up in the tub no never the water never came up in the tub no, no. yeah this this is going to be easy if if everything else in here is working. See, the water don't go down fast in there. Yeah. In I'll one get one. you straightened out. Okay. Let me just go back here for a minute and see what we got. Yeah. I would this sink. See this? Yeah. I'm running the other sink and it's coming up in this one, so there's definitely a cross in the wall. Yeah. Let's see if these guys are. That's pretty high. And that's the same height, so. Yeah, there's gonna be a cross in the wall, two by inch and a half by inch and a half. That's what he's. That's what my neighbor told me. Yeah, because he was a handyman and he he's done a lot of things in here, and he came to plunge last night. Yeah, plunging it's not gonna and get it. And it didn't get it. That's all right. Why don't you just sit down and relax, and I will take care of this, okay? All right, John. I I'm I'm, all, I'm upset. I've been crying last night. I'm crying. Don't start crying. Take it easy. I'll get you all straightened out, all right? I can't handle all the problems. Huh? I just like you have a hard time out handling all these problems. Yeah, I know. It's tough, so. All right, so the plan is I'm going to go up on this roof just because that's what needs to be done. I need to get a big cable in there. Let's see. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe I should go around the other side. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go around the other side. Oh fuck, another pile of shit. Let's take a walk down there. Took a light bulb out of that lamp. <laughs> These are nice chairs, man. 
These are really nice, actually. I'm going to take these, maybe. That little uh, thing is for shark's teeth, I think. Or maybe... I don't know what it's for, actually. Take the barrel. <laughs> Some old pop up that's leaking under there. I mean, I just touched this, yeah. and my hand came out all, oh. you know, grunged up. So, we'll, uh, I think it may be just in this pop-up, I'm hoping. Mm -hmm. But if I, if I try to take this nut off and it breaks, then I have to replace yeah. that. Yeah. I, I had to put that new thing in. The okay. lift rod. I had one heck of a time because I had a bad knee. Yeah. And I couldn't hardly get up. All right, so it came off. It's a good sign. What are you picking up? This little nut. Oh, for that thing? Yeah. And that's. It's all stopped up, so. No, I'm good. Okay. All right, so I've got a new, this is an old mowing metal pop-up. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put a new gasket in because mm -hmm. uh, it was leaking. Oh, yeah, okay. And uh, we'll try to get you squared away here. I, I had that thing off. Yeah, that's probably not the right one? one. Yeah. Got, yeah, I got, got a, I got another one out there. You got two? Alright, so... I hope this is the right screw. We'll find out. Whoa. I'm going to write nothing. Nope. Why would you wear gloves? I have, I don't know. I have no idea. Why would you wear gloves? <laughs> I'm just goofing around. Being a goofy guy. Let's see if I have this nut, but in the meantime, I need to get it back together. I can't get over how that plunger is. It's so full of gunk. Well, that's from the... The uh, Drano does not help. Well, it wasn't. It was just liquid from the... Yeah, yeah liquid same thing. Don't help. Would you like some paper towel? No, thanks. I have rags. I have a rag in my pocket that I'll use. Because um, I've got lots okay. of paper towels. See that green or that stuff is you need to wash all that stuff down? No, it goes down the drain. What thing, man? No, I'll get it. 
kilogram. Okay, what else can go wrong? A lot. So be uh, grateful. He's never been done, cleaned out, you know. No, that one happened. <laughs> well, I don't know how many little bags it was that I had. And then I fell on the floor trying to do it because I'm not good left-handed. And uh, then I couldn't get up. <laughs> oh, geez. Help, I've fallen and I can't get up. Yeah. See, you're eating, when you pour that Drano in here, uh-huh. You've eaten the finish right off of this sink. Oh, honey. No, that's been like that for years. You know what it would happen? My sister was here. Uh-huh. Uh, off and on. And she uses a curling iron, and she would set it in there, and that's what the finish. Oh, wow. Yeah, she, her tip of the curling iron melted. Ruined it. Okay. All of that stuff, so now it turns black. Wow. Yeah, yeah. there's no finish on it. No. Whatsoever. She she screwed it up. Off with her head. That's what I say. No. Well, she don't. She don't talk to me. She doesn't talk to you. No. I, don't, I, don't, I have a sister, but she don't talk. So oh, wow. long. I couldn't uh, kneel on it. Alright, so this is fixed. This is junk. Alright. Okay. Let me get... Let me I'll get let you... Of here, so. Yeah, I'll let you clean up. Alright. The tub? Yeah, that one. What, what about that one? It that was... It wasn't going down. Oh, I thought you said it, it was. No, it was Well, it goes down slow. No, that's not too good. Okay. All right, so now we get a tub stoppage. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I'm good. Be careful. I need these. Yeah, we can throw that out. That's garbage. Okay. Jeez, I almost took a dump. I know, don't do that to me. I still have to have you picking me up. Let's see how this guy comes along. I said, Tigger, that I have you here. I'm going to have you check these out. And I'm glad yeah. I did because this is nasty. Dripping out of the cabinet? No, it might be coming through. It's see that? Totally clogged.
<sighs> I don't know why. Why would you wear gloves? That's what I say. Why would you wear gloves? Ma'am, I'm not crazy. I'm just playing. I, I do you. I see you in there. Yeah. <laughs> you want to say hello? You want to make your debut? Say hello to the camera. <laughs> hello, John. <laughs> Anyways, normally what I do in a, a tub stoppage is I run the shower. And make sure if you're taking a shower that the drain. I don't use this one. I use the shower in there. Yeah. Uh, so I I try to make sure that the drain is not backing up while you take a shower. That's the test. And uh, because of her curtains in here, I'm not able to do that. She doesn't use the shower anyway. So. No. <laughs> All right. So let's go. You got me. Into the master. This now what what's the problem with this? Can I just leave that like that? Well. I mean, all you gotta do is lift this up, and it's and it holds water. Hmm. What about if I just didn't open it up all the way? Yeah, you could do that. You know, when I'm putting earrings on or something here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no problem. Okay. At least it's it's cleared out. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, now these sinks in here, most likely you have the same issue that they're full of stuff Probably. in the drain anyway. So yeah, because Daddy, uh, ooh, I should have closed that. I don't want to, I've got a chameleon out there. My dad shaved in that one. Because okay. he sat in the wheelchair. Well, this is clean. This one's clean. The problem is in the stack. Okay. So I gotta get. Let me look at this. Here's the right here. Ma'am, you might wanna. I don't want you. I, you're making me nervous when you back up, back when you're walking backwards. I don't want you to fall. Oh, I won't. I won't fall. Yeah. That's why I got my shoes on. Okay. Well, if I had my slippers on. You, do you, you have a light? light in this shower? Good. Let's get this drain apart. You need a screwdriver. I got them handy. You got a Phillips head screwdriver? I do. You're the best. problems. Alright, so I'm gonna hit this with the Super V. It's probably full of hair. And uh, we'll get it tightened up. You can see hair all over it anyway. Because my daughter in law, golly, when they were here, I came in to take a shower and all around that drain. Nothing like lot, but hair? Red hair. Oh, jeez. Oh, Robin. So I don't know what's down below. Well, <laughs> you know. The fire. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty grungy looking down there. What is that little tool you have? Like this black thing? Yeah. This is my camera. Oh. I'm videotaping this. Uh -huh. For posterity. Uh -huh. <sighs> uh. All right, guys. So I got my Super V and your new pad. Yep. Where's Gary? There's a there's an outlet there and an outlet here. I can take this. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's probably good. Yeah. My mother made these. Oh yeah? Yeah. Wow. 
she used to do all that kind of stuff. <laughs> And this is her first teddy bear. She had, she had like 18 teddy bears right here. Alright guys, the proper way to use a Super V is to pull this up and then the pinchers inside grab the cable. And you pull some cable out. Listen, this, this pipe here, I know that this pipe for the shower is not longer than six feet. Mm -hmm. That's why I stopped when I did. Um, and I could tell that the pipe was clean because there's no bucking or anything. But I used this bigger head, and this is a, a 3 8 cable mm -hmm. um, to really clean that thing out. But we're good on this. And uh, I'm gonna go up on the roof now and clear that those two labs. All right, I'm gonna go up here and go up here and try to get this line cleared. Stay in the house. Yep. Got heavy stuff up here and I don't want it falling on you. Ma'am? Yes. Hey, when that goes down. Yeah. Let me know, okay? Okay.
Turn the water on. Alright guys, so I hit that with uh, 15 feet of cable and it went right down both labs. Problem was in the sweep. Uh, I got sweat in my eye. Ugh. Nice having clean towels, guys. Go to fucking Walmart. Buy about 20 towels when they're on sale. Keep them on your truck. Get an old washing machine and fucking wash them when they're dirty. And you don't have to ask homeowners for fucking towels and shit. Uh, whew. All right, guys, I got this job done. I uh, didn't want to go up on the roof, but to do anything but that would be, uh, wouldn't really get that, that drain clean. You need to run a big cable through there. If you're running a fucking Super V cable through shit, you're, you're basically putting a hole in it the size of a pencil. Uh, especially the small spring head cable, uh, quarter inch. But, uh... So I got everything taken care of, tub stoppage, lav stoppage, double lav stoppage, shower drain, rebuilt a couple uh, pop-up assemblies, uh, lift rod assemblies in her house, and uh, she paid me. She didn't, she didn't cry poverty, which was good, uh, and uh, 
I gave her some of these crosses I want to show you guys I have these books I know I swear a lot and uh, you know maybe come off as an asshole but I'm a strong believer in God and uh, I feel like he's my faith saved my life and my, my attitude towards that saved my life and uh, I'm doing very well I do want to show you these crosses that I give out these are called custom not custom comfort crosses they're made in Bethlehem out of olive wood and uh, I give them to whoever wants one you know a lot of times it's people who are struggling a little bit and but each one of them is unique and when I give them to people I tell them when this cross was made in Bethlehem it had your name on it and uh, so if anybody wants one uh, leave a comment and uh, I'll get back to you give you an address you can send that uh, self-addressed stamped envelope to and I'd be happy to give you some uh, they come with prayer cards and I'll be honest man they do bring you some comfort as long as you're you know it doesn't matter what religion you are honestly this is just I'm a Christian but I don't care what religion you are who, what God you believe in uh, I would just be sharing, you know, something that means a lot to me, to you. So, anyways, uh, another job well done. I was here for about, uh, I told I'd be here at 10. Yeah, I was here for an, an hour and a half. That's uh, included my garbage picking, um, my bullshitting, walking down the street, watching ladies go by. Uh, Sometimes I get lost, but uh, anyways, I'm off to the next one, guys. See ya.